beginning of Holy Week. Mm -hmm. This is the week that leads to the best day ever. Right. Easter! Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Easter is my favorite day. Mm -hmm. Today's story in the Bible is about patience. Mm. The Jewish people had waited <gasps> hundreds of years. <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> for the Savior that had been promised by the prophets. And today is the day that the Savior, Jesus Christ, came into Jerusalem. That's right. Today's when we remember that Jesus came riding on a donkey, which means he came in peace, not war. He came riding in on a donkey in Jerusalem, and the people were so excited that he was coming. They got palm branches, and they waved them, Yay. and they laid them down the ground, and Hosanna. then they said, Hosanna! That's right. Blessed is he who comes Come in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna kind of is like saying, Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Well, and since we're not going to be together this Holy Week, we made you... <gasps> Easter week bags. We hope everyone's picked theirs up and got your palm branches mm -hmm. ready. So, <clears throat> yeah, because we're going to wave these in Zoom Sunday school That's class. That's what we are. <laughs> and worship today, too. Yeah. Hey, and fourth and fifth graders, save yours because we're going to wave them on Wednesday, too. <gasps> Ooh, okay. <laughs> Yay. All right. Let's see what's in that bag, Miss Linda. Okay. First of all, there is. I think a, there's something. There is a book. It's a new book. That's a book that you guys can read and talks all about the week that led to Easter. That's Holy Week. Yeah. yeah. Some of the older ones can read it to the youngers. Ooh. Oh, and there's something really nice. Yeah, this is what you need today to start off the week. Okay. Oh, this is our purple mm. cloth. So what we want you to do is put this in a special place. This is going to be the beginning of your worship center. So every day, you're going to read, say, do, wonder, and pray. So let's just say today, mm -hmm. you're going to get the little wooden figure of Jesus mm -hmm. out, and you're going to put okay. him on here. Okay. There is a palm branch for you to cut in color, and you're going to lay that on your altar cloth. And then you're going to have read a little Bible verse. So... And every day, you're going to add something new, read something new, wonder about something new, and pray about something new. Yep, it's all in there. It is. Well, so, now this is the beginning where we have to wait until later <laughs> for something we want now, which is Jesus and celebrating that Jesus rose from the dead. But... We gotta wait all week. We gotta wait all week. <laughs> we also want to eat some chocolate eggs too. But Miss Linda, uh -huh. she has been so good and so patient because I brought her a little treat. Today is the last day of the Bake Off. I sent you guys a recipe for Rice Krispies treats, but I decided because Miss Linda is such a good friend. <laughs> and I'm going to make her something else. Okay. Give me so, help. Okay. All right. I'm so excited. I've been very patient. She's been very, she's been a good girl. That's right. I've been waiting for the Lord. Be strong and don't lose hope. <laughs> Wait for the Lord. Psalm 27, 14. She <laughs> has been. I'm so excited. Uh, this isn't for her. Oh. I don't know what this is. Oh. <gasps> They can't see it, but I can. I just oh baked them this morning. Oh, I think they're still warm. Yeah, they are. They're it's still a little warm. Rolls. They're so good. My patience has paid off. <laughs> there's two. There's. I sent you four. Now, two of those are for Mr. Allen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's patiently been All waiting right. for a treat. Too, I'm sure. <laughs> Yay. Thank you, Brad. You're welcome. I'm so, so excited. Nice. So, let's get ready for Sunday school. We're yes. going to, um, today's the last day to do the Bible verse. For the kindergarten through third grade, it's Versa Palooza yep. today on Sunday. Yeah. Fourth and fifth graders on Wednesday when we gather on Zoom. It'll be your turn for Versa Palooza. Yep. All right. All right. I don't know. We've had so many kids that memorized the Bible verse this, this time. Our Versa Palooza <laughs> jar is <it's> full. <laughs> You're going to have to really dig down I in there know. to get it. 
All right. Yay. Super excited. We'll see you guys in Zoom Sunday School. Yeah, get your, get your, get your uh, palm branches because we're going to need them for Zoom Sunday School and for worship. All right, you guys. Hosanna. We will see you in just a little bit. Goodbye. Woo! Happy Everybody, my name is Graham, and you'll never believe it. I graduated from baking class. <laughs> it was an intense two and a half week course, but I made it to the end. And to celebrate, I made a cake. Okay, I know it may not look like much now, but when I add the frosting, it's going to look amazing. Of course, I'm not gonna frost it yet. Because the cake is still warm. That's something I learned in class. If you try and frost a cake while it's still warm, everything falls apart. So, you gotta let it, you know, chill. Oh, hey! While we wait, let's talk about patience. Patience is waiting until later for what you want now. So, let's wait. Still warm. Yeah, waiting is boring. I know something that might help. Let's set a timer. Uh, I figure it'll take half an hour for the cake to cool, so. Yeah. Okay, how much time has passed? 30 seconds? 
Oh. 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 Waiting is so hard. I just want to finish this cake so I can celebrate. Today's story has a big celebration in it. And the people celebrating have been waiting for a long time. <laughs> you should check it out. I'll count the seconds. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. For hundreds of years, God's people had been waiting on a savior for rescue. Every year at Passover, they celebrated how God had freed them from slavery in Egypt, and they looked forward to how one day God would rescue them again. Lord, save us. The city of Jerusalem was filled to overflowing for Passover, and news of anything unusual spread quick as flame. They say Jesus is coming into the city. That teacher fella? He made somebody alive again, even though they were dead. Lazarus? Well, if you believe that sort of thing. My cousin Sarah saw it with her own eyes. Excitement and tensions ran high in the city, and as the people prepared to celebrate, the religious leaders hatched their own plans. This Jesus is trouble. He says too much. He does too much. Then we'll have to do something about that, won't we? A short distance away near the town of Bethany, Jesus was indeed preparing to make his way to Jerusalem. He called two of his disciples, maybe Peter and John. Go into the village. As soon as you get there, you will find a donkey tied up. Her colt will be with her. Untie them and bring them to me. Consider it done. But wait, we can't just take someone's donkey. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them. The owner will send them right away. Oh, uh, okay, good. The two disciples hurried into the village. Jesus didn't say where to look, so, uh, oh. Steady there. The two disciples quickly untied the donkey and her colt. Hey! Uh, hello? What, what are you doing? Why are you untying my donkeys? Uh, it's like this. The Lord needs them. Oh, okay then. The disciples led the colt and its mother back to Jesus. They even draped their coats on the backs of the donkeys. There, nice and comfy. Sort of. So Jesus climbed onto the back of the colt and his friends followed close behind as they started on their way down the dusty road towards the city. Though his friends didn't realize it till later, Jesus was fulfilling the words of the prophet Zechariah from hundreds of years before. Say to the city of Zion, see your king comes to you. He is gentle and riding on a donkey. The road was crowded with travelers making their way to Jerusalem. Other people spilled out of the city when they heard that Jesus was on the way. Praise God. Have you heard what this man has done? People actually began to take off their coats and throw them on the road before Jesus. They tore palm branches from the trees and waved them on high. Some of the religious leaders had joined the crowd to discover what was going on. This whole thing is preposterous. Out of control. So tell him to stop. Who, oh, me? Hosanna! 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 Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Who comes in the name of the Lord. Teacher, teacher. As the donkey carried him slowly forward, Jesus turned to look at the religious leaders. They glared back. Teacher. Tell your followers to stop this instant. Jesus took in the joyful crowds. He looked ahead at the walled city of Jerusalem, sprouting up from the rocky hillsides. Then he looked back at the religious leaders. I tell you, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. As Jesus rode on, the religious leaders fell back, grumbling to each other. This isn't getting us anywhere. Look how the whole world is following him. So even though these religious leaders had studied and waited their whole lives for a savior, they didn't recognize Jesus when he came. But still, the people continued to cheer, 
and to follow Jesus into the city. Listen up. Here's the truth. Waiting is boring, and it's so hard, and it can take a long time. It can even feel like time slows down when you're waiting. But listen, just because we're so focused on what we're waiting for doesn't mean that God isn't up to something. So I say we change our focus. Instead of thinking about how long things are taking to go the way we want, Let's focus on the creator of the universe. Let's focus on how he has a plan. Let's focus on how the savior that the Israelites waited hundreds of years for has already come for us, and his name is Jesus. We should focus on those things. Everything else is just icing on the cake. Waiting can take a long time. It's true, but it doesn't have to be hard and it doesn't have to be boring. We've got a lot to celebrate while we wait. That's the one thing to remember today. You can celebrate even when you're waiting. Who knows? Maybe waiting can be fun. Oh, the cake is ready for some frosting. Oh, I can't wait to taste this. I don't have to. Oh, so good. Happy Palm Sunday, everybody. <laughs> Turn the crank for a tasty treat. Where's my tasty treat? Here you go. <sighs> Is this unbaked bread? Bake on 350 for 40 minutes. This is my tasty treat? Patience, Brandon. Patience. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the So-and-So Show. John, what is going on? Well, Easter is next week. Pretty big day. I'll say. And I cannot wait to celebrate it. Oh, really? Yeah, just look at this chocolate bunny. He is just begging me to eat him. <laughs> I'm so chocolatey and delicious. Have just a nibble, please. Hey, I guess we could celebrate a week early. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Happy Easter! Mm -hmm. No, I'm good. I know. Mm. Mm, great! Who knew you didn't have to wait to celebrate Easter? 
Yeah. I, I mean, who says we can't celebrate other holidays early too? Let's do it now. Yeah. Happy Arbor Day. Hey, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Hey, can you put Dad on the phone? Hey, Dad, happy Father's Day. <laughs> you're welcome. Happy Canada Day, eh? Hey, bro. Happy Brother's Day. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Happy Independence Day. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jeff. Happy Second Cousin Removed Day. Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Happy Bastille Day. <laughs> oh, fromage. Hey, Sparky. Who's a good dog? Happy Dogs Day. <laughs> you're welcome. Can I get another hot dog? Sure, buddy. Happy, Happy Labor, Labor Day. Day. Trigger! Merry Christmas. Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Are you sure this is how you celebrate Boxing Day? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. Happy 2022! Oh man, six more weeks of winter. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Yeah. Oh, one more thing to celebrate. What's that? It's Bible story time with Kellen. Yes. Hey guys, whoa. You guys all right? Yeah, yeah, we just uh, celebrated a year's worth of holidays in three minutes. <laughs> That sounds exhausting. Yeah. I guess it kind of was. So I guess you've already done Palm Sunday then. Wait, that's today. How could we forget? Uh, um, what, how about this? How about you celebrate by helping me tell the Bible story? Absolutely. Awesome. Well, here's a little puppet head theater. <laughs> Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. Jesus told two of his disciples, go to the village ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you'll find a donkey tied there along with her colt. Uh -huh. Untie them and bring them to me. <gasps> if anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh. You see, hundreds of years earlier, one of God's prophets, Zechariah, said the Messiah would come to Jerusalem riding on a donkey. That prophecy was about to come true. When the disciples went to Jerusalem, they found the donkey just like Jesus said. Oh, here it is. Uh, perfect. Come on, little guy. I'll just get you here. All right. Hey! Uh, what are you doing with my donkey? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I was just, uh, oh, what was I supposed to say? Uh, right. The Lord needs him. The Lord? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? <laughs> I just did. Well, please, by all means, take him away. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Come on, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, and thank you. No problem. Uh, okay, whoa. Slow, slow down. Whoa, here we go. So they took the donkey back to Jesus and placed their cloaks on the donkey for Jesus to sit on. Here you go. And here's one. <sighs> Nathaniel, you got your cloak? And one more. <coughs> Jesus got on the donkey and headed to Jerusalem. When word spread that Jesus was coming, a crowd gathered and spread their cloaks all on the ground while others cut palm tree branches and spread them on the road. My cloak for ye, sir. Hosanna! It's the Messiah. He's coming. Hosanna! He's getting closer. Here he comes. Jesus rode into Jerusalem, and he was greeted with cheers and shouts of hope and wonder. They wondered, 
Could this be the Messiah that they had been promised all those years ago? Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! (laughs) The entire city was amazed at what was happening. Now, they weren't 100% sure that Jesus was the one that they'd been waiting for, but they still celebrated. It's Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth. The end. That's one of my favorite stories in the Bible. Everyone was waiting for a savior. They think they have one, so they celebrate. Even though he's on the back of a donkey, they treat him as a king. Yeah, pretty incredible. But over the course of the week leading up to what we call Easter, there would be a lot of pain. Jesus, the man they thought was their king, would be arrested and sentenced to death. It was a roller coaster of emotion. So what happened after that? Well, I think a lot of us know what happened after that. And while we can still celebrate the hope the Easter story gives us today and every day, you'll have to wait to hear the rest of the story next week. Fair enough. Hey, thanks, Kellen. No, thank you guys. Later. See ya. Great story. I know. The people had been waiting so long for a savior, they must have been thrilled. I know, yeah, and and they still didn't know exactly who Jesus was. They didn't know the crazy, turn-your-world-upside-down miracle that was about to happen. So they still had to wait and wonder. Just like us sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, check this out. Reveal the question! What are you waiting for right now? John? Lunch! (laughs) After the show, buddy. Oh, right. But what else? Are you waiting for news about a test, uh, about whether or not your parents are going to have to move for work? Maybe you're waiting for God to answer a prayer. Oh, wow. Yeah. What? Those are really thoughtful. Thanks. Thanks. Waiting for lunch is good. Yeah, lunch is good. Just know that whatever you're waiting for, you don't have to wait to celebrate all the good stuff. That's right. Right. You can celebrate all the holidays in one day. Let's do it. No, wait. We've already done the whole year. We haven't done next year. It's true. Talk about it with each other. What are you waiting for right now? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. To the future. Yeah. When did this tradition start? Uh, This starts in 2036. Oh, that's right. Apparently they hadn't invented tweezers. So close. (laughs) (laughs) I threw two and they both missed. Yes. (laughs) This is fun. (laughs) That's good.